This week you find us in York. This is one of the world's best preserved medieval cities. So why don't you come and explore York with us? We're here on The Shambles. This is said to be the best preserved medieval street in the entire world. Many of these houses date back to the 15th century. The Shambles was originally a street of butchers. So back in the Doomsday Book of 1086, there were two butchers labelled here. The road has two channels running down the street and this was for the blood of the animals to drain. So there are hooks still on some of the buildings where they would hang the animals and obviously the blood would come out and drain down here. And as you can see from this rather jaunty camera angle, this is the overhang. Two buildings either side of the street, it is said. But you can shake hands yeah. between them. Out of those windows. But there was a reason why the shops all had overhangs. Yeah. There is. What's that then? So, when this was a butcher's street, mm -hmm. the overhangs used to stop the sun affecting the meat. Oh, so it keeps it all fresh. Head. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, to keep it all fresh. So yeah. there was a reason for this. Medieval builders knew what they were doing. They weren't just built wonky. So this street even has a Hollywood connection. The Shambles was actually the inspiration for J.K. Rowling when she created Diagon Alley for the Harry Potter films. And there are many shops along this street that you could get all of your Harry Potter stuff from. This isn't a Harry Potter tour though, because we don't know much about Harry Potter. No, I don't know anything about Harry yeah. Potter. I've read the books. I've Have you seen, you've seen the films? Have you seen any um, of the films? I've seen some of the films. Okay, well, that's a start. I'm not going to say my opinion on it. I'll but offend um, too much. <laughs> yeah, um, no, this is not a Harry Potter tour, because we will offend people. This is why we did our uh, shambles tour in the morning. Yeah, if you want to see the shambles without any people, yeah. come, come first in thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. A prominent city landmark in York is the York Minster. First constructed in 1220, and it wasn't Sold. finished until 1472. 250 years. I can see why. It is a very impressive building. Fantastic, especially in this morning light. So it is the best example of Gothic architecture in the world, and it's got over 2,000... Who says? ...years of history. I have not finished my sentence yet. <laughs> it's emotional, isn't it? <laughs> I'd say it's considered one of the best examples of Gothic architecture. You can't just say it's the best. It's not what it says here, it says it is the best. Like Notre Dame Cathedral's probably better. It's also said that the cathedral is haunted. York is home of many haunted buildings, including the Golden Fleece behind me, which is home to at least five ghosts. So if you want to come on a spooky tour, come to York. So York has another famous connection. Guy Fawkes was actually born here, in this pub. And as the sign says, it was here I was born. It is here where they serve the best pie in the city of York. Huh. Quite a claim to fame. I don't think it was a pub though. <laughs> well, it might have been, he might have been born in a pub. Guy Fawkes, for any of you that don't know, was the man behind the gunpowder plot. He blew up Parliament. Yeah, he attempted to anyway on the 5th of November. And we remember every year by fireworks, uh, the gunpowder plot. We do. Right, to the chocolate shop. To the chocolate shop. So one of the things I didn't know about York until I was researching for this trip is that it has a famous chocolate connection. Terry's Chocolate Orange and Round Trees, they all originated here in York. So your Kit Kat, your Smarties and your Chocolate Orange, yeah. which I love by the way, you do. all come from York. Christmas staple, Terry's chocolate orange, isn't it? Don't tap it, whack it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got tickets for the York chocolate story. 
where we are going to unwrap the history of chocolate. Oh, very good. Very good. Inside, we learn all about the history of chocolate in York, as well as watching demonstrations and, of course, taste testing. Nice layer, sticking to the inside, making the shell chocolate. 100%. Would you like it, yeah? I would have bitten a bit off. <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> oh, I should have been a bit off. Yeah. Oh, I'm not mind that. Yeah. I can have a whole bar of it. You ate yours slowly, though. Don't just, don't just be a pig and <laughs> shove it in. We even try our hand at becoming chocolatiers. Well, we decorate a chocolate bunny. York's chocolate story is well worth a visit. Join us next week as we discover the UK's best fish and chips in Whitby. But don't leave us just yet because there's plenty more of York left to explore. Behind us is Micklegate and this is where the Duke of York was executed in 1461 and it's our start point to walk around the city walls. So let's go. We got our facts wrong didn't we? Yeah so Richard of York was actually executed. Don't point to the sign, there's no sign. In 1460. Stop not, pointing. Not 61, we gave him an extra, extra year. And they shouted, off with his head. Off with his head. Yes, traitors and various bad people, their heads were displayed from Micklegate Bar. They were. Right up until the 18th century. They didn't do it anymore, it's unhygienic. Yeah. But, yeah. Let's go. We are now on the York City Wall. We are. These walls go all the way around the city for two and a half miles. They were put in place by the Romans, so they started to be built in AD 71, I think. They were, and then they were later improved by the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah. So it's free to enter and you get unparalleled views around the city, so it's definitely a, a must-see. Well, after a long morning walking around the city of York, We've stopped for coffee. We have. At a coffee shop, but not just any old coffee shop. No, we have stopped in the Gatehouse coffee shop. Which, as the name suggests... Was a gatehouse. It's a gatehouse. It's a gatehouse on the wall. A beautiful place, because you can come right to the very top of the gatehouse. Which is where we are. Get this amazing view to enjoy your nice mm, coffee. Definitely yeah. recommended. If you come into York, come to the Gatehouse coffee place. 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 We were heading for lunch, weren't we? We were walking along the city wall, being good. We were. And then we saw the, the landing station. I saw that we could not use our legs and we could use a boat. Although you have to go up there, come back, and then you have to land back in the same place. So it won't actually yeah. get us anywhere. No, but. but it'll be a different view for you guys. You can now view it from the A self-drive boat. So yeah. fingers crossed we don't crash. We have been called to Emma. Thank you very much. Okay, driver. And we're off. Good visibility. Now, can you remember the rules? Uh, yeah, drive on the right. Um, pass the bridges in the middle. Yep. Avoid crashing into anything. Go four bridges up, turn round, come back. Go two bridges down, turn round, fall. An hour. Don't crash. Don't crash. That's the important one. Captain <laughs> Claire. We didn't go very fast. Oh, oh, oh. Famous last words. Okay. We're just going to follow the big boat. This is much better than getting a tour. Because you can do it yourself. Make it up as you go along. 
to listen in on what they've got. There's another boat that's just driving in the middle. No, it couldn't hear a thing. Pretty along here, though. How are you doing back there? Or up there? Just navigating this bridge. Yeah. So I'm going to do eyes on the river. Definitely recommend it though, it's great fun. It is great really fun. Really good fun. Bloody so. huge! Oh, this is really nice and relaxing, isn't it? This is the light. Who's driving the boat? One thing I like in particular about York is there are lots of Watch shops. You're not having another one. I can film watches all day. Yes, I know you could. We are queuing for lunch. We the are. famous York Pud. Because you cannot come to Yorkshire and not have a Yorkshire pudding. Right, lunchtime mm. at three o'clock. Yes. <laughs> we got distracted by the boat tour, didn't we? We did. We were meant to have lunch before the boat tour, but never mind. So, traditionally, uh, this is what a Yorkshire pudding looks like. Or something similar. Similar to a pop over. We're right. told, yeah. anyway, yes. It's just uh, egg batter, uh, savoury sort of thing. Fill it with gravy. Obstruct. Vegetables. What the York Roast Company have done have turned Yorkshire puddings into wraps. Which is genius. Mm. And it's also trademarked, so don't get any ideas. So it's a roast dinner inside a Yorkshire pudding. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun, the big reveal. Right. Cheers. Hey, mm. You've got all over your face. <laughs> oh, I've got all the horseradish as well. So, if you ever venture to York, do try one of these because they are. They're so delicious. Yeah. Gonna try a spud. Spud down the hatch. You pig. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. And if you've not yet got around to watching our Sunday roast video, mm. then give that a view because mm. you can find out more about how to make these wonderful Yorkshire puddings. They are excellent. Mm. Right. We're going to eat lunch. Mm. Bye. Bye. Well, folks, that was our tour of York. We hope you've enjoyed exploring it with us. If you have, then you know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you in a video coming really soon. Bye. Bye. Cold. <laughs> the street was never officially named the Shambles, but Doomsday Records, the Doomsday Book, back in 1086, there were two... All oh, right, yeah, don't walk that fast. Gee, I can't walk that fast backwards. The street was never officially named the Shambles, uh, but the Doomsday Book of 1086, there were two records of butchers. No, it was officially named the Shambles, but the name the Shambles never appeared in the Doomsday Book. I think we leave that bit out, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. It was rebuilt. 1400. 1400, yeah. Still very old. So I assume it was called the Butchers of York in the Doomsday Book. Ah, you see, it wasn't originally called the Shambles. No. Told you. Butchers of York. Helpful sign reading. Yeah, good old signs. The prominent landmark in the city is... You're still looking at your notes. <laughs> yeah, Tower of 2017. It's impressive though, and you can go inside it. Yeah. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's the running tour of York. We've got a busy schedule. Freaky. You're getting dis distracted. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful sunny day it is. Perfect day to too explore bright. York. Too bright. It's too bright. Too bright. <laughs> Don't mind. Didn't need too care. bright. What if I book this for the wrong day? <laughs> it's you better check your emails. Quite possible. Got the right date? Yeah, the 7th of the 4th, 9.30. 9.30. 
It's a bit early, but it says arrived 10 minutes before. But I mean, that doesn't even look like there's people in there. Slightly disconcerting. <laughs> How's your chocolate research going? <laughs> I typed into Google facts about chocolate York. Yeah. Uh, about York chocolate even. Facts about York chocolate. <laughs> The York chocolate was an uncommon American <laughs> breed of show cat. Aww. Aren't they sweet, the York chocolate? Was, wasn't what I wanted bit, there. Bit off-piste. But... <laughs> so pop in there for a pint if you want to be haunted. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they were enjoying our video. Were they? Yeah, they having a good laugh. They, they were giggling, they were having a laugh. Yeah, but at us? Not at our expense. <laughs> You're going to knock their block off and, yeah. and knock their head off. Stick their head on a spike. Yeah. Come on then. This is argumentative. Come on. Let's go up the wall. Come on then. Reel off some facts. I've given you all the facts. You're getting the opposite of hangry. You're yeah. full now. You're full gry. You keep asking me stupid questions. I gave you the facts. I'm the one that does the research. I don't have that many facts. I don't research that far, really. Mm. I'm not a historian. Ooh, that's cool. Meet me on the other side of the wall. What makes you think I know anything about trains? I don't know. I don't know. This is what we spend our lives doing. Waiting for people to get out of the way. What were you going to say about the trains? I was going to say about the trains that York is famous for trains. I don't know why. why. That would have been a point of it anyway. Oh, wow. We'll have to cut it anyway because there's a fire engine there. Don't oh, be sensible. No, be nice. Oh. Olive was totally in the wrong lane then. Are you, are you committing water rage? I am committing water rage. <laughs> Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in another city tour coming really soon. Did you trip over then? <laughs> cobbled streets. Dangerous. Where sturdy footwear if you're exploring York. Lots of cobbled streets. Do it one more time. <laughs>